it was pre-COVID and my son was struggling in first grade and his teacher was at her wits end with him and it seemed like we were getting notes every day that he had done something to get in trouble where he couldn't keep his hands to himself or couldn't focus or just whatever. And I didn't know what else to do. So I did a lot of research and saw that for kids that were experiencing ADHD, not necessarily diagnosed, but um, that neurofeedback was something that could possibly help. And me being a mom, not wanting to put my son on medication for life or change his career path with just one medication, uh, looked into it and we have had amazing changes in our son. <laughs> I love to hear that. It's amazing. I love to hear that. What, what can he do now that he was struggling with before? Um, when there was a project at school that he had to do that required a lot of self-focus and concentration on his own time, and he did not do that at school. And then COVID hit, and he was able to accomplish the entire task at home with me that Excellent. he could not do at school. <laughs> Excellent, so, excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you foresee for his future now that he has these skills? I think now that he has a wheelhouse to cope, um, I think he, sky's the limit for him. I, I know there's a really bright brain in there. He just didn't know how to maneuver it into the world. And I think the sky's the limit for him, that he can focus that, that smarts into practical applications. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, anything that you want to share with parents who are or considering this, a lot of people are a bit reluctant. They 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 hear stories of, oh, this doesn't work, or you know, we're we're worried that you know the cost is too much. Uh, you know, maybe address some of those things for people. Um, we had some concerns about the cost. My husband is um, very financially minded and was was concerned that we were spending a lot of money for something that may or may not work. But we decided we were investing in his future. He's, he's only seven, so he's got his whole life ahead of him. And if we can set him up to succeed now, it's going to be a lot cheaper than a lifetime of struggle. Exactly, <laughs> right. A little, a little painful process of some financial decisions now or a lifetime of concerns it was a no-brainer. We decided we needed to do it. It was worth it. It was, yeah, absolutely. Yeah.